Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about bioprinting. This emerging technology will enable future 3D printers to output synthetic human tissue and even entire organs. Bioprinting may therefore trigger a medical revolution. Most people are familiar with today's inkjet printers. These are loaded with cartridges of ink that is sprayed onto paper to produce text and 2D images. In a similar fashion, future bioprinters will be loaded with cartridges of living cells. These will then be output from a bioprint head that will move left and right, back and forth, and up and down, in order to produce a 3D object. Bioprinters will output many types of cells, as well as a dissolvable gel to support and protect the cells during printing. Organs will then be built up in a great many layers. Over several hours, a complete replacement kidney, liver, heart or other body part will thereby be created. Today, one of the pioneers of bioprinting is Organovo. Here, scientists have already bioprinted experimental human blood vessels and even animal cardiac tissue. Their Novagen MMX bioprinter first prints out a layer of biopaper gel. Bioink spheroids, each containing tens of thousands of cells, are then injected into this water-based material. More layers are subsequently added to build up the final object. Amazingly, nature then takes over and the bioink spheroids slowly fuse together. As this occurs, the biopaper dissolves away, leaving a final bioprinted body part. As bioprinters enter medical application, so replacement organs will be output to individual patient specification. As every body part printed will be created from a culture of a patient's own cells, so the risk of organ transplant rejection should be very low indeed. Some future bioprinters are likely to add cells directly to the human body. Sometime next decade, Doctors may therefore be able to scan wounds and spray on layers of cells to very rapidly heal them. One day, keyhole bioprinters may even repair organs inside a patient during an operation. In situ bioprinting could even have cosmetic applications. For example, face printers may be created. These would evaporate existing flesh and simultaneously replace it with new cells. People could therefore download a face scan from the internet and have it applied to themselves. Alternatively, some teenagers may have their own face scanned and then reapplied every few years to achieve apparent perpetual youth. In the future, bioprinting could allow most parts of the human body to be repaired. With synthetic organs printed to patient specification, organ donor waiting lists would also be a thing of the past. For more information, please see explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and remember, the future is in your hands. Thank you.